Brooklyn Independent Television. Welcome to Brooklyn Review. I'm Brian Vines. In 2009, the Metropolitan Transit Authority lengthened the G-Train subway line by five stations, directly connecting several Brooklyn neighborhoods from north to south. Now the agency is planning to cut back on the additional stops. Sherry Carabin has the details of how elected officials are enlisting public support to keep the G-Train from turning into the ghost train. It's good service, uh, G-Train. That's the way riders and elected officials want to keep it. A big part of that involves making five temporary additional stops on the G-Line in Brooklyn a permanent fixture. I actually appreciate it because it makes it a lot easier for me to get to the city. Because I'm further into Brooklyn, it's another alternative to the F train, which doesn't run as quite as um, well as it should. The additional stations were added by the Metropolitan Transportation Authority in 2009, directly connecting those in Park Slope, Windsor Terrace, and Kensington to central and northern Brooklyn. A perk of sorts that grew out of the disruptions caused by the rehabilitation of the Culver Viaduct, which goes over the Gowanus Canal. A byproduct of all the work they're doing on the line is that they couldn't use the express tracks here at 4th Avenue, which was where the G used to stop, not pick up passengers, just stop on the express track. They can't do that any longer, so they've had to move the, uh, the place to park it at Church Avenue. Uh, and now, so they made the, the wise decision that since it was going to run all the way to church, why not actually uh, stop, open your doors, and pick up passengers, which is what they've been doing for many months now. The problem is the changes are not permanent, and many believe that when the work on the Culver Viaduct is completed in late 2013 or early 2014, the extended stops will also come to a screeching halt. That's why transit activists like Nyperg Straphangers campaign staff attorney Jean Rushinoff are giving the thumbs up to the Five Stop Fan Club. The campaign was launched in mid-March by New York City public advocate Bill de Blasio, along with elected officials. We're big fans of the five stops that the G-Train makes now uh, that it didn't make in the past. Uh, the line is much more useful for people going from uh, Carroll Gardens to Park Slope to Windsor Terrace to Kensington and uh, we, uh, we want it to be permanent. It sounds as though your concern is that although these five stops are not on the chopping block right now, they could be in the future. When they finish this project, the worst thing to happen would be that it went back to the way it was. It's common sense to extend the G-Train a, a little bit to make it more useful and make the line serve more neighborhoods. If the changes don't become permanent, the G-Train will no longer extend to Church Avenue. One of the stations that would be lost is the 4th Avenue and 9th Street station, which this nearby salon manager says could mean fewer customers. I've seen a, a little difference in, 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 the, in the flow of people coming around. If they go back to the way things were, that could possibly hurt your business. Possibly. Can't say for sure, but yeah, possibly could. Realtor William Duke says better transportation does make it easier to interest people in properties located in Windsor Terrace and Kensington. Anything that extends transportation into uh, Kensington or Windsor Terrace helps. There isn't a lot of transportation. This Kensington resident is certainly hoping things don't change. It used to do that a long time ago when I went to high school. I went to high school near Pratt Institute and so I would take the G from uh, 15th Street all the way there. And then they discontinued that and moved it further out. But I think it's more of a convenience for everybody to have it go to Church Avenue. Because it's a set set, a set, kind of this block of uh, community that we all kind of hang out together. And so I think it's wise to go to Church Avenue. But not everyone thinks the additional stops are a plus. It isn't a great thing, not for the G train. I mean, it's more stops. So it has to slow things down a little bit, at least how many stops? 15 minutes? At least 15 minutes. Five stops, two minutes to stop, three minutes to stop. In the meantime, those behind the Five Stop Fan Club are hoping commuters will not only like them on Facebook, 
but will also weigh in with the MTA to let the agency know why they should keep the stations operating. Uh, my discussions with uh, New York City Transit that runs the subway system have been very positive on this. So they're not, they're not making a commitment, I don't want to say that, but they're really taking a, uh, an open look at making this permanent. This is Sherry Carabin reporting for Brooklyn Review. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.